Hello, I'm Jose Couture. Welcome to Jose Couture Real Estate TV, your Toronto real estate home and garden channel. COVID-19 is a pandemic that is affecting everyone. It doesn't matter what you do or what line of work you're in, it will affect you to a certain level. And if you look around you, some people are better off than you are, some people are worse off than you are, but we're all affected. This month, I want to talk to you about what it's like to be a Toronto real estate agent during COVID-19. One of the very first thing that touched me about the COVID-19 lockdown is when the cancellation of the National Home Show and Canada Blooms was announced. Um, just a few hours um, before the show were set to begin. I'm involved with both um, for the Toronto Botanical Garden, the Toronto Master Gardeners at Canada Blooms, and I also send out about 200 tickets for the National Home Show to clients. So it was quite a shock and it took me a little while to get over that news. As a Toronto real estate agent with 30 years of experience in the Toronto market, um, it's definitely a first for me to work in a world pandemic. So I guess the next surprise for me was when uh, I listed a property uh, representing a seller and the announcement for real estate rules of showings, open houses and so on um, were established the exact same day that our property listing came on the market. Unlike the Spanish flu of 1918, today we're very fortunate for um, technology. So as realtors, we have to adapt very quickly and start new techniques of showing homes uh, even better than they were before. I think that maybe for some realtors who maybe have been in the business um, for the last 15 years or so in a seller's market, it may be difficult to adjust to the fact that the number of average days on the market right now as a result of COVID-19 is closer to a month to a month and a half. During COVID-19, real estate services are on the list of essential services. Apart from selling a home, as I just mentioned, there's a number of things that have to be done during COVID-19. And my third experience in dealing with COVID-19 was to assist buyers with the closing of homes that they purchased several months ago. One of the other experiences that I've had to go through during COVID-19 is to assist some home buyers with the final visit on a property that they purchased several months ago. Uh, one was a house, so we uh, required the seller to be gone and we asked um, the realtor to leave all of the doors open, all of the cabinets open, all the lights on. We had masks, uh, we had hand sanitizer, we kept um, the proper physical distancing, but all of those measures almost made us feel like there could have been some red velvet ropes like you see at the Casa Loma. So a very different way to inspect a property before closing. The other buyer that I had to assist with in regards to the closing was uh, purchasing a condo and condos in Toronto during COVID-19 can be tricky to show because in some large buildings, um, some corporations just don't allow any showings at all because of the number of people. Finally, one of the things to be mindful about during COVID-19 is if you are closing a deal on a property during this time, make sure you speak with your lawyer, your lender, and that everything is on track. And now, here's a list of stats and facts about real estate during COVID-19. No in-person open houses. Electronic open houses via Zoom or social media. Buyers have to review the complete marketing package for a property before they are granted a showing on the property. A COVID-19 form has to be signed by buyers prior to entering a property about their traveling habits and whether they've been affected by COVID-19 or not. The average days on the market is currently 30 to 35 days. And the average price in Toronto is down from last month, but up from last year in the same month. At the date of this video, prices are picking up a little bit though, and the activity on listings is increasing. 
COVID-19 is affecting all of us, but I hope that this month's video helps you understand a little bit about the real estate services during COVID-19. If your dream includes buying or selling a house in 2020, don't give up on your dream. There's plenty of opportunities, one of them being the mortgage rates at an all-time low. If you need more information about this topic, Toronto real estate or neighborhoods, or plan to sell or buy a house, I'm just a click or a call away. If you like this month's video, please click like and share. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next month.